Mass shootings in the U.S. are no longer a random occurrence. From the tragic 2012 shooting deaths of children at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut, and the 2018 gunfire killing of teens at a Parkland, Florida high school, to last year's back-to-back -back shootings in Dayton, Ohio, and El Paso, Texas. We cannot simply accept it as the new normal. Many of these mass shootings are powered by assault rifles that can spray dozens of bullets in mere seconds, causing massive casualties. For several decades, the bishops in the United States have been talking about gun violence and proposing different ways to encounter it, including reasonable measures of gun control to prevent guns from falling into the hands of folks who are going to do harm to others or to do harm to themselves. The growing incidence of mass shootings has only increased the bishop's plea for reasonable gun regulations. However, homicides only accounted for about 35% of the nearly 40,000 U.S. firearm deaths in 2017, whereas self-inflicted firearm deaths accounted for about 60%. The U.S. bishops see sensible gun regulations as a pro-life issue and believe lives can be saved by adopting some of these measures. You can't have a good society without respect for the gift of human life or without efforts to live together in peace and to avoid violent death. Amazing grace, the Lord has promised 